Believe it or not, only one of these people is actually a man. Find out tonight on Dog Eat Dog. Welcome to Dog Eat Dog. Any one of our contestants could win $25,000 tonight. But to do so, they have to exploit everything they know about their opponents. Yesterday, we sent them away to camp where they had a chance to see each other in action. It's kind of like getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. I don't think that the group knows how intelligent I really am. None of them know yet that I got a 4.0 all through high school, and they also don't know that I was on the dean's list for two years in college. You're in the zone, let's go. Oh, winning is very important to me. Yeah. You know, 25 G, <laughs> you can't beat that. Am I ready? I just think, from what I've seen with them, I think that I have it. I don't have a doubt in my mind that I'm not gonna win tomorrow, honestly. Climb up and hang from that, like, like, a, like a sloth. I don't mess around, when I, when I get pushed to my point, I'm ready to come with it. I'm bringing 100% and just take out anyone who's in my way. It takes time Break to it. pray. It's like the Beverly Hillbillies gone, gone mad, you know? When, Cause I'm on TV. You don't do that when you're in Kentucky. You don't do that. Come to me! <laughs> All these people, they just want to pay bills, and I guarantee that I have, I have a stronger urge to take the money that I could win and spin it fruitlessly. Woo. Welcome to the show, everyone. Here's how the game works. In each round, I'll show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to beat the challenge or end up in the dog pound. However, if you win, then it's time for revenge because you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's get started. Tonight's first challenge is a lot of fun. It's called Over and Under, and it's located in our tank. One of you is going to have to take a ride on our water wheel and go jumping for flags. Who here doesn't really know their way around? It's time to choose the loser. Okay, who's going to the tank? Let's find out who you've chosen. First up is gonna be Nicole. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm not joking We're around with you. Down. Let's see. Matt voted for you, Rose voted for you, and Jamal voted for you. Matt, why don't you tell Nicole why she's gonna be taking on the water wheel? Well, yesterday Nicole had a little bit of trouble with the cargo net, and I see there's a cargo net on there, so her arms are a little bit smaller, and she doesn't seem like to have the upper body strength that quite everyone so else strong. has. So sure. I don't quite know what she's gonna do on that wheel over there, but there's gotta be something holding on to. She's a tough competitor, and I don't really need her around right now. All right, so you're gonna try and get her off to the dog pound early? Yeah. All right, Nicole, it's time to suit you up. Let's take a walk to the tank. Get in the car. Get in the car. Here we are in front of Over and Under. You're first up tonight, Nicole, and here's your challenge. We're gonna put you in the water on that side of the tank. You're gonna swim out to our water wheel and grab onto the cargo nets. Take a ride to the top. When you get to the top, get up on your feet and jump for those flags. Now, you can only jump for one flag at a time. To get another flag, you have to grab back onto the cargo nets, take a ride underwater, and back to the other side. Grab all five flags within two minutes and stay out of the dog pound. Got it? Got it. All right, go ahead and get into your bathing suit. It is fun, that's a good attitude. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and get into the tank. Just have a seat on the lower level, I'll give you a countdown and let you know when to begin. <laughs> Nicole, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Thumbs up? All right, let's put two minutes on the net zero countdown clock and start the water wheel. Three, Two, one, go! There she is, holding on, up the first time. Oh! She couldn't get up on her feet fast enough. There she goes, taking a ride underwater. Up and around the other side. Up on your feet! Oh! So 
side. Here she goes. Up on the feet. Up, up. You're going to have to jump out farther than that, Nicole. Here she comes around the other side. Hold on. Up on your feet. Up, up. Wow. This is a lot harder than it looks. Come on. Hang in there. There she is. You gotta really focus on the flag. She's taking a ride around the other side. That's right, give it one more try. Jump! It was hard to jump out far yeah. enough to get the flag, huh? Yeah, it's hard to pull myself up to jump. Definitely. To get the flag. Definitely takes a lot of strength. That was a great effort, Nicole. Unfortunately, you're off to the dog pound. Give her a big round of applause. Let's give her a challenge. Nicole wasn't quite fast enough to get up on her feet and grab those flags. Let's find out who's going to be joining her in the dog pound. Next up is Swing Rings, and it's located all the way up there. One of you is going to have to work your way across that course of rings and grab the dog eat dog flag at the end. Someone here can't hang. It's time to choose the loser. Someone's going to have to give us a little Tarzan action when we come back. <laughs> All right, which one of you is going to go for a swing? Let's find out who you've chosen. It's going to be, oh, a tie between Matt and Sean. Sarah and Matt voted for Sean. Jamal and Sean voted for Matt. Very interesting. In the event of a tie here on Dog Eat Dog, the deciding vote goes to the person who was last sent the dog pound. Hi, Nicole. again so soon. Yes, it's Matt. Why Matt? He was really anxious to get me on that wheel. He was? What makes you say that? He wanted to vote me off. He saw me voting him and he was very anxious to get me off the panel and into the dog pound. This is all about revenge. Yes, pretty much. Tell me what you think about Matt. Um, I don't I don't know if he's capable of doing this ring thing up here. I'm going to channel my inner monkey and he's swing <laughs> from the room. He's all right, let's see how your inner monkey fares, Matt. Why don't you go ahead and take a walk and get all harnessed up. <laughs> I'll be the first one to jump in anything. You want me to do it? I'm going to do it because guess what? You're getting voted off if you voted for me. I'm going to pick the best person I think and they're going to the dog pound. Matt, your challenge will begin when I say go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! Go! 
Second ring, you looked down, you were talking some smack, and yeah. you missed that third ring. You know, it got a little, uh, I didn't think I, I didn't get enough pull to go back and forth. So I missed it, I came back, spun around. I knew I was gonna get all tangled up, so I just did the backward swing and came around again. You hung in there? Yeah, I'm ready. And then you went across, you missed another ring, but at, at least you knew what to do that time, right? Yeah, I was just trying to get my body shaking, going, moving towards it, so I got lucky it swung back towards me. I think so. those uh, those long arms definitely helped you get that reach across there. It did there. definitely help in the end. Well, I guess you did prove yourself. You are the monkey man of the evening. That's right. That's right, y'all. Which means you're not going to the dog pound, not but today. someone is. Who's it going to be, Matt? Well, you know what? I'd like to get rid of Sean and his big-ass mouth. But, but he's still got the little arms and not nearly as strong. So, Jamal, you're just too good, man. i got to get rid of you. What do you got to say to Matt oh, no. now? Good job, dude. Yeah, you, you stay up to the challenge. You, you That's great, man. Break his ankle, Jamal. But, that's a way to be a good sport. Yeah, and so, you know, I'm mad because I'm going over there now, but that's all right. That's yeah. true. You know it's true. You're next in the dog pound, but don't forget, we'll give you one last chance for revenge at the end of the game. There but for go. now, see ya, Jamal! <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it. I didn't think so either. That's all right. That's okay. He knew it was a real competition. I know. Wow. Congratulations, Matt, on conquering the swing rings. Ooh, that was great. Got my monkey on. <laughs> all right, this next challenge is a bit of a gender bender. It's called Drag Kings. Boys, come on out. We're going to show you a group of seven gentlemen. Well, six of them are really women. Only one of them is an actual biological male. Your job is gonna be to pick out which one is really a guy. <laughs> a good man is going to be hard to find. It's time to choose the loser. We'll separate the male from the female when we return. themselves a man. Let's find out who you've chosen. Matt, it's going to be you again. <laughs> Let's find out why. Sean and Rose both voted for you. Sean, why do you want Matt to do this challenge? Did I vote for Matt? Yes. Is this the first time I voted for Matt for today? <laughs> oh, really? Now you're time? trying to play nice, huh? Thanks, man. <laughs> no, this is the third time, isn't it? Yeah. This is the third time in a row I voted for you. trying to make this the match show over here? Voted for you, didn't I, Matt? Thanks, voted man. Voted for three times. So the thing is, oh. first of all, Matt doesn't know women. No. Uh, there's no women. What makes doesn't, you say that? I'm not saying he doesn't know that he knows men, but he doesn't know women. What do What's you mean it? by that? It's yeah. Mean thing. What it's do you mean by that? Well, I mean, Dang. he's just like a total package of, uh, of goofball. <laughs> so, a total package of goofball. Do you consider yourself perceptive? I think I'm very perceptive, you know? You I'm certainly right. rocked the physical challenge. Let's see how you do on the intuitive challenge. Rather Please come and join me. Yeah. 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 It's going to be fun. 
right, let's introduce these guys. First up, let's meet Lou. Is this a country boy who loves riding off into the sunset? If so, there ain't no wild horse he can't tame. Yeah! He likes those wranglers tight, eh? Next up. You're pretty nice there, Lou. It's Corey. Corey's an uptown man who likes to wine and dine his ladies. With his manners and good taste, he's quite the gentleman. Or is he? Is that rose for me? I mean, yeah. Me and you will see you later, after show. All right, next meet Jim. He may look like he's all brains and no brawn, but underneath those glasses, is there a wild man bursting at the seams? I really can't tell which one's Hello. Matt. <laughs> How's it going, Jim? Here comes Rick. Rick likes to live life on the wild side. He works hard, he plays hard. What do you think? It looks like one tell. of my neighbors. Or my roommate. Yikes. Hey, thanks very much. Something good there, Rick. So you say a college man is what you want. Well, here's Billy. He's got good grades and a great future. And he's the president of his fraternity. There you go, Billy. Or I is it a sorority? I can definitely believe it's fraternity these days. <laughs> go for the first one that looks like Brooke. Is this a bad boy or a bad girl? Meet Trey. He's tough, all right, but those big arms are just as much for hugging as for thugging. They're not too money. It's kind of cute, maybe. And so. finally, meet Tommy. He loves music and his DJ skills will make you dance until you sweat. Is this our man? It's up to you. What's up, Justin Timberlake? I know, man. This could be trouble here. So these are the guys. These are my guys here, huh? Yep. You have to tell me which one you think is the biological male. The rest of them are really female. Really? <laughs> really. Cowboy man's got those chaps nice and tight, man. He must be packing some socks up in there or something. Though. I see something down there. It's full. There he is. He does have some. I told you there was something in there. I don't know, this this guy with the rose is uh, number two. Ah, he's he's getting me here. It's Asian men. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, well, I gotta stand a little bit farther apart. Maybe I can start looking at Brooke over there. <laughs> Our geeky friend here? I don't think so, man. He's just, uh, he's playing it up a little bit too much. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling that, you know? He's just, he's got a shoulder forward, but I think I see something right here, man. Not that cool. <laughs> Our man in the leather jacket, I swear I've seen you at every club in town. <laughs> I mean, this is L.A., right? I mean, everybody's wearing a leather jacket these days. You got, that's a tough one. This guy, he's got it down. Mr. Football, can you, are you loose or tight, man? You, just, you seem a little uptight. Just lay back a little bit, you know? We're having some fun here. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, man, I don't know about G-Money over here. He's, he's looking, his those arms are bigger than mine. <laughs> I and mean, Justin Timberlake down there. Those cats are pretty cool, man. I like them. Oh, look at those. He's got pretty big guns, too. I don't know. I don't know. So, so far, basically, you've said that they're all convincing, which they're is all, kind of the point. They're all convincing. They're all convincing. If I had to eliminate some right now... Yeah, eliminate a couple for me. Our geeky friend number three, I'm sorry, but you just ain't cutting. All right. That's a woman. Yeah, that is a woman. Okay. 100%. Who else? Uh, our football friend, he just, he's been posing too much. Just, yeah, trying too hard. He's just got the Heisman coming at me over here, so I don't, right. I don't think so. Justin Two Timberlake down. on the end? Yeah? Justin Timberlake could be a woman anyway, so. Oh! Right, but so anyways, he's probably, he's out. I, I think he's out. Cowboy's got that package going on. And I thought I saw an Adam's apple over there. So, oh, really? I, yeah, I thought he's got something poking out, so I was trying to hope that was what he's trying to hide he's it all. He's throwing you a bit, huh? Trying to keep his head down, you know. Number three, you look great, but that goatee is just like, you gotta let that come out a little bit, you know. Don't be some AJ McLean on me. Next time, just give me some more fur. And, you know, G Money looks good, but I, I somehow she's just, she's smiling at me. I think she's un undressing me with her eyes. What are you looking at? You? Have something feminine over there. Yeah, huh? yeah. It's this is this is tough. I think I've narrowed it down. I All think right. it's Who have you narrowed one it down or two. To? One or two. One or are, two. Are my, our cowboy are my... or our tuxedo man? Yeah, cowboy or tuxedo man. Now be careful and make sure that you pick the one that you really, really, really think is I, the man. I because really if you don't it's... get this one, 
You're off to the dog pound. I really think it's Cowboy Lou over there, but man, I just can't tell. It's think, harder than it looks, isn't it's, it? It's a lot harder. I am going to say... You gonna give me an answer here? All right, never mind, I'm going with one. I'm going with one. Number one. Number one. Number one. The cowboy. Cowboy. For sure. For sure. One hundred percent for sure. The no cowboy. No doubt in your mind. No doubt in my mind. The I'm not saying. Cowboy is one hundred percent biologically male. Oh. Yes. All right. One hundred percent biologically male. Will the real man please step forward? Come on, cowboy. Come on, cow. Come on, cowboy. Oh. Oh. jump in to round four. And speaking of jumping, we're gonna test your fear of heights and your aim. The next challenge is called Leap of Faith. One of you is gonna be jumping from that platform all the way up there. You're gonna try and hit some targets down here with your feet. Who here has weak knees? It's time to choose the loser. Someone here is going to take a leap of faith when we return. So, which one of you is about to take a fall? Well, let's find out who you've chosen. It's going to be Sarah. All right. <laughs> You're nodding. You knew that was coming? No, it's the one I wanted out of any of them. So really? Yeah. You like this one the best so far? Heights are the thing I'm most comfortable with. So, Sean, out of the two girls, why Sarah over Rose? Why Sarah? Because she voted for me like three times in a row. That's right, I did. And she, and, and well, she scares me and I wanted to get rid of her soon. So this is a little slap back. Well, I, I wanted to get her away from me. But you should be concerned if she likes heights, right? Yeah, right. Well, but earlier, I tried warning him. I told him. But she's a ditz. Earlier we were right. talking. She's like, I'm gonna aim for the ten, and I'm like, good plan. Well, it, I didn't know that. You know, maybe that's what I need to do. I'm just picking. It's the name of the game. <laughs> you wouldn't know because you're not in it anymore. <laughs> All right, Sarah, are you ready to take a leap of faith? I'm ready. All right, take a walk. Get rigged okay. up. We're gonna watch from here. Good luck. So, so far the group's assessment of my physical abilities, I would say, is very good. I haven't given them any reason yet to think that I'm a poor challenger. All right, Sarah, here's your challenge. You have to jump off of that platform and try to hit one of these targets with your feet. If you land in two targets during one jump, we'll give you the higher point value of the two. Not the two combined, but the higher point value. You'll have three jumps in which to accumulate 50 points. Any less than that, and you land in the dog pound. However, if you can do that, then you're going to be choosing who you want to go head to head with out of these two guys and who's off to the dog pound. All right? All right. 30's kind of out there. <laughs> I need the audience to clap like I'm Tinkerbell or something. Like. Audience, she's asking for a little help. Let's go on, let's go. All right, Sarah, time to make your family proud. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right, three, two, one, jump. Ha, ha, ha. 
I saw your face. You went ashen for a second, but then it looked like you're having a good time. Good job. 30 points right off. You only need 20 more. Are you ready to be lifted up one more time yeah, and ready. go for another jump? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys, let's take her back out. First time the hardest. Are you ready for your second attempt? Yep. All right, on the first one, you got 30 points, which means you only need 20 more to stay in the game. Okay. All right, here we All go. Right. Three, two, one, jump. Second attempt. decision you have to make now. Yep. Who do you want to go head to head with and who's off to the dog pound? The decision is yours. Sean, I love you. Yeah, hey, I made this come but true for you. It's a girl's game. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, come up here, Sean. I love you. Sean, 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 Sean. Why is it going to be Sean? I love Sean to death, but honestly, yeah. I don't think that this game gets to come down to two girls enough, and you I'm going to make it that way. God, I love your sister, you know? <laughs> you know? That's going to last really long. Yeah. Sean, any final words to Sarah and the girls before they go head to head? You know, I just made a dream come true for Sarah, put her up on an aerial stunt. I don't I don't know what the anger is, but, but good no luck. Anger. You're not and feeling I, I the knew, love? I knew you had this one locked up anyway, so it was just grasping at straws, so enjoy. Thank you. All right, good luck. All right, Sean, you know what this means? Yeah. You're up! All right, Rose, come up here and join me. Girls, you know what this means. The two of you are going to be going head to head in the tank when we return. for our head-to-head -head competition to determine which one of you will be tonight's top dog. First, let's talk about what's happened so far. Nicole couldn't survive on the over and under. That's why she's in the dog pound. Then Matt was king of the swing rings. He sent Jamal to the dog pound. Then Matt was asked to prove himself again, but he just couldn't find himself a man. What can I say? He's over there, too. Then Sarah took a leap of faith and successfully completed it, which sent Sean to the dog pound in her place. Now it's down to Rose and Sarah in our head-to-head in the tank. Let's turn around, ladies, and see what you're going to be up to. We're going to put you in the water. You're going to swim out to those plexiglass panels and slide on and then hang on for dear life. We're going to raise them up to a starting point and start some rain. Then we're going to tilt those panels until they're vertical. Last one hanging is tonight's top dog. Any questions? No. Mm -hmm. All right, dog pound. Any predictions? And neither of them have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> it's it's going to be one of them. Is it going to be Rose or is it going to be Sarah? I think it's going to be Rose Sarah. That'll be a crime match. You got to watch Rose though. She's full of she's full of surprises. You know? Yeah. yeah. Not scary. that she's yeah. done anything. Sarah, just, yeah, both of me. You can't do it. Okay, girls, what about between the two of you? Who wants the 25 grand more? I <laughs> did. All right, Sarah, you tell us why. Because I don't need my dad to support me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that too, right? Yeah, Come on, Sarah. You better hang on. You better hang on. What about you, Rose? Brooke, I need to get my um, laundry out of the cleaners because there was a time when I thought I had enough money to get it out. And what, two days later? So you put I them in? It. Yeah, so I put them in. I can't get them out, so they're kind of like in jail. They're still there? Like a month and a half, baby. So you're wearing this bikini home tonight? I am. <laughs> okay. I am on screen. Um, All right, well, let's see if we can get your laundry out. Girls, whenever you're ready, go ahead, jump into the tank there, and swim over to the plexiglass. Make sure you get a good grip on that thing. You're going to be hanging on for dear life. All right, audience, let's give them a little bit of help here. Go ahead and slide on up there. You ain't done what it takes. Sarah, don't 
give up now. Sarah, you got a good grip? Got a good grip. Rose, what about you? I do, baby. Ready to rock and roll. All Ready right, ahead. guys, let's lift them up. Here they go. Oh, look at this. saw you try and make an adjustment. Did that kill I you? I did, and I knew I shouldn't have, but I was going anyway, so I figured I might as well give it one last try. Oh, man. It's okay, it's okay. We're still in it. We're still in it. I'm over there with my friends now. That's rough, but unfortunately, you know what that means. Yep. You're off to the dog pound and Rose is tonight's top dog. You have to. There, you can sit right in the middle. They're going to yell. Look, he's yelling at you. Yeah. Look at right where you belong. You got to sit next to the Sorry, man. We got the small one on our team now. Here we go. All set. We are ready to win our $5,000. Hey. Five can okay. get enough. Five more. Uh -huh. hey. Woo hoo! That was great. You survived the rain. Give me some skin, Southern girl. Nice way to hang in there. <laughs> But you haven't won any money yet. We know no. you know we give them one last chance to come and take away your grand prize, right? We do. Should we get you a towel and dry you off and ready for the final challenge? Yes, baby. Sounds good. Walk this way. Congratulations, Rose, on being tonight's top dog. You did a great job of hanging in there. 
here's how the final challenge works. I'm going to show you a category, then you tell me which member of the dog pound you think is least likely to be able to answer a trivia question in that category correctly. If they get it wrong, you get a point. If they get it right, they get a point. First to three points takes home all the money. Got it? Got it. Now remember, once you pick someone, you cannot select them again. Okay. Are you ready for the first category? I think I'm ready. All right, let's so. put the first category up on the Circuit City big screen. First category is music. Who do you think will be least likely to answer a trivia question about music? How about, okay. Um, uh, so smart are you. How about, I will choose Nicole Chabon. I haven't heard from you so long, I miss you. I just want to hear your voice. Okay. Okay. Nicole, please stand up. Okay. How are you with music? Pretty good? I love music. You love music? Depending on what kind, but the most part. All right. Here's your question, Nicole. What Motown legend, whose hits include sexual healing and let's get it on, was fatally shot by his father in 1984? Marvin Gaye. Your answer is Marvin Gaye? Yes. Quickly out of your mouth? Yes. The correct answer is Marvin Gaye. Don Fowler, yeah. the glory. Let's move on to the next category. May we please see the next category? Animals. Now think hard. Who do you think knows the least about animals out of this bunch? You know what? I'm gonna go. Um. Anyway, I'm Matt. I'm gonna go with you, sweetie. Matt, please yes. stand up. Why, Matt? I don't, he just doesn't look like an animal lover, you know? I'm just gonna go on physicality this time. He just doesn't look, out of all y'all, just the least one who's not gonna have a fish or dog. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm going on. Yeah. That's what I'm banking on. You like animals, Matt? Not really, but I watch Animal Planet enough, you know. All right. Discovery Channel, things like that. All right, let's see if it pays off here. Let's hope so. Your question is, Dolly, the first successfully cloned mammal, was what species of animal? I believe she was a sheep. The correct answer is a sheep. If they get this right, they're taking the money right out of your hands. I know, I want my laundry. Rose, could you have answered those two questions? I could have, yes, which is amazing. <laughs> Can we please see the next category? Famous people. Now be very careful. If they get this one right, they're taking all your cash. Oh, no. Okay. There's nothing. Who's it going to be? Who do you think? story. <laughs> um... I can't choose but famous people. How about I'll choose Sarah. Sarah, please stand up. Why Sarah Rose? I'm just hoping. I'm a hopeful girl. All right, girls? Well, it's come down to the two of you once again. This could be for all the money. Sarah, are you ready for your question? Yes. All right. Category is famous people. Your question is, what is the first name of the person who is heir apparent to the British throne? Can you repeat the question? Absolutely, but only once. The question is, what is the first name of the person who is heir apparent to the British throne? William. The correct answer is Charles Rose. You got a point. And yet, so far away. Once again, you're hanging in there by your fingertips. Huh? All, right. All right, Dog Pound has two points. Rose, you have one. Can we please see the next category? Food and drink. <laughs> now, your only two selections here could be between Jamal and Sean. Who's okay. it going to be? I'm going to go with Jamal. Jamal, please stand up. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think you know something about food and drink? I know a little bit about food and drink. 
Why did you select Jamal? Sean's just smart, man. I'm telling you, like you're trying to leave him for the Jeopardy last. Jeopardy Studios next. He's gonna bump on up. Yeah, really, you know. So I'm. All right. Um, this kid's dangerous. It actually, maybe may, they're both dangerous. He's food on drink. He just got smart as wits. I don't know. So. Okay, your category is food and drink. Here's your question. What ice cream formed with blocks of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry shares its name with the citizens of a town in Western Italy? That would have, I love ice cream, and that would have to be Neapolitan. Your answer is Neapolitan. The correct answer is Neapolitan!